Hello and welcome to Mind that Plays Age of Empires 2 African Kingdoms. So this is the Portuguese civilization. So if I upgrade to the feudal age, you'll notice that they look like the Italian, and obviously Portugal and Italy are both Mediterranean, well, kind of Mediterranean countries. Um, I say Portugal, it's kind of in that area. But if I go through some more buildings, uh, just get these up and you come here and build a market and let's go up to the uh, castle age so if I get a castle the unique unit is a an organ gun now in a future video I'll show you more about how these fire but it looks to be a bit like a scorpion and that it just fires out that way but we'll see what it's like so those are the stats there and a unique technology carrack where ships have plus one of each armor. So if I get out a galley, and it's got 06, so Carrick, and there you go. So civ other civ bonus is that all units cost 15% uh, less gold. So you see there that the cavalry archer costs 51 gold as opposed to 60 gold. Ships also have plus 10 hit points, so the galley was on 120, but it's now gone up to 132. You can build the Feitoria in the Imperial Age, which is quite a nice building. Um, but also the team bonus is that you have free, free cartography from the Dark Age, so you can see what your allies are doing. So if I go up here and just get you... Uh, if I get you building... I always forget what the Siege Workshop is. And then University is G and... Uh, if I get you to build the Fatoria. So this is a Fatoria, so I'll have a look at that in a future video, but generally speaking, it's like a relic for all of your resources. Very handy. And I'll have a look to see whether having more of them mean you get more um, more things, uh, more resource. But it's only 250 wood and 250 gold, that's quite handy. Um, so the other unique tech in the Imperial Age is that you get Archibus, which is where gunpowder units are affected by ballistics. So obviously ballistics from the uni. And I'll be able to show it in a, in a future video when I go into the unique techs in a little bit more detail. But I'm guessing the general idea is that if, if you have hand cannoneers, if you have bombard cannons, bombard towers, they... Oh no, not bombard towers, because it's... Uh, only for the gunpowder units. So if they shoot a moving target, they tend to be affected, which is obviously quite handy. Also, uh, sorry, just quickly read that actually the Portuguese are the first civ to ha actually have a unique building, which is this Vitoria. So quite an OP building. So maybe the f it could be used as a if you're slinging someone, if you're helping. You know, another te uh, civilization build up their units. Maybe having a Fatoria will be quite handy. So, uh, if I get that and upgrade, now I'm not sure what exactly they're affected by. Let's see if I get some of these. No, not yet. Ah, so they're not actually affected by anything, but let's just get all of them anyway. And then Siege Workshop, uh, nope quickly get all of these Ooh. siege engineers I did get there so that's just got one extra range there that seems to be the only thing that uh, different but the elite organ gun costs 80 wood and 60 gold so it'll be interesting to see how they are in a group because that's the other thing if they have an area of effect being in a group it is going to be pretty devastating anyway thank you for watching I shall see you in the next part which I'm yet to decide but it might be on new units that appear in the game see you in the next part